TKR ready to entertain their home fan. Viewers and subscribers, the TKR is set to touch down in Trinidad on Wednesday of this week and people they have promised to really give an entertaining display at home you understand because this is a power host trinidad team that a lot of fans in trinidad are eagerly awaiting to come and dominate well people we have a look at details where we saw the players basically promise to entertain the club and i'll share it with you guys all right so if it's the first time on the channel guys please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so people um ikea will begin um their leg of the cpl on wednesday you know with an already sold out or already sold out a fear against reigning champions the guyana amazon warriors at the queen's park oval the four-time cpl champions will play back to back as they face falcon and thursday and in an effort to avenge the defeat to falcon at the north zone antigua so we have entertaining back to back people of the TKR at home and it's going and it's promised. The matter of fact, the first match people is between Guyana and Trinidad. And I'm looking at it, guys. Could this be the final of USCPL 2024? Well, people give me their predictions saying that the four semi-finalists will be Guyana and Trinidad, St. Lucia, and also Barbados. Do you believe that any other team will slide up their head and say, all right, we're going to push up. But based on what I'm seeing, guys, it doesn't look tough because we saw the Falcon play eight matches, guys, and um, they have only won two. We saw the, 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 the I think the Patriots played seven matches and they only won one. So you understand what I'm talking, people. So um, the DKR will switch to the Brian Lara Cricket Academy in Toruba, San Fernando. To face St. Kitts and Nevis Patriot on Sunday also at 7 p.m. before 10 a.m. appointment with the St. Lucia Kings on Republic Day, September 24th. You know, before they wrapped up the home matches against the Barbados Royals on Friday the 27th at 8 p.m. So that's a basically the schedule, guys, for the TK here at home. You know, understand the manager, Colin, um, is excited to be home. I think it's always exciting when you are coming home. Um, board explain because of course you come into familiar territory and you know that you have the support of the crowd for the five games. So the manager is saying that hey, the team is really ready, people. You understand the team is going to give a good account of themselves at home. They're going to show that hey, we are the four time champion and we deserve to really go to the final this year or might say lift another fight we're going to demonstrate that we are the strongest team in the tournament we're going to demonstrate that we are a level ahead of everybody but people it's not going to be easy it can be excited but excitement don't play cricket cricket is played under feel you understand um board um was thankful um for the ban of traveling trinbagian supporters who travel to various um, islands to support their franchise yeah man you know fans is always going to support their franchise guys whenever their franchise is playing so it's not like you know um it's surprising but they have to big up the fans as well because without them there's no support for the team and without the fans no game can't go on because no no man's going to or no people is going to go play a match without dead stadium without nobody come and support it it's named the biggest part in sport for a reason that's because it's a track all people fans to support the six team so uh as we know Dwayne bravo um who is retiring after this edition of the cpl is yet to play a match he has played one match man what are they talking rubbish you know however the experienced manager said the farmer captain is ready to play yeah but i think um bravo played one match one people right i think the first match bravo played that tkr one <laughs> One so you're saying that he hasn't won a match. That's sometimes the guys can't take information from website no guys and that because some of the time they really get it 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 wrong. You understand? And if you don't know what you're saying, guys, you might come and bring wrong information. You know that's the reason why you should know ahead of time that hey they did play match. You understand? So um you know Trinidad will be looking to pack their team and perform well people at home, you know, because they're gonna have the likes of Nicholas Puran. Andre Russo might coming back into the team. Dwayne Bravo. I think Tim David soon come, guys. Um, so it's a mixture of talented top class players. You understand? So 
Yeah, man, people said, Trinidad and fans, here the CPL come, come out and support your team. You understand? Nicholas Poor, and I want to see Nicholas Poor and show. You know, I see the different fields, man, come out and talk about Nicholas Poor, and he's challenging Nicholas Poor and to really tap the CPL score. This man hasn't really performed, but you know, it's it's still, yeah, man, it's still, it's still a, a, a work in progress for him. He have games that he can chip in back, you know, but. You know, he need to come good if you want to live up to what Phil Simmons is asking of him. And I believe that they are putting too much pressure on this young man to really perform. You understand, people? Because the man is already performing well, yet you're going to tell the man that, Rete, 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 I'm going to challenge you. But from his score at 92, guys, he hasn't really get him to know half century anymore. But people, Trinidadian fans, look out, the TKR is coming.